I think I'm driven by an identity as a ballet dancer. For me, the system of ballet feels like a daily ritual. Ballet feels very grounding to me and is something to return to as a sort of practice. Really, for the last decade or more, I've been trying to figure out how to approach ballet from a feminist perspective and if it's even possible. I work really hard to make the ballet technique classroom a place where people with varying identities can feel welcome and included in the conversation. Working with students to have that kind of conversation means ballet is having those kinds of conversations. It's important to me that those perspectives carry through into my choreography. So I work with Alison Bory and Amanda Hamp. Together we are AGA Collaborative. We take a collaborative approach to dance making, dance performing, and dance writing. For us, collaboration most often means making space for ideas to surface. Collaboration is being willing to try anyone's idea and set aside assumptions about what you think that might be or the path you think that might take you down. Two years ago, my raise was above the cost of living increase. <laughs> my 30 and over soccer league made it to the playoffs this year. It's not that collaboration is easy. It's not that we all agree all the time. But the goal is to put the research questions and the ideas we're exploring ahead of personal attachment. And if we can do that, then the work reveals which is the right answer or which is the right path to pursue. Collaboration has brought these other perspectives to me on a very regular basis. I'm always reminded that there are multiple ways to think about something. And that is really important to me as a human. Number four, do not Snapchat the whole concert. Number, one. number five, calls, if they leave a message, call them back. AGA Collaborative has done a number of residencies at colleges and universities across the United States. And we did one at UNC Charlotte last year. We've been working on an ongoing project called Anthem for a Porcelain Generation. The ideas get, behind it and magician. the questions behind it I've never tried were this. surfacing in conversation with students and we thought it would be an interesting project to create a piece with them that looked at their relationship with technology. Am I the reason they worry so much? I know I'm the reason you worry so much. I'll get to it next You should time. be more like her. Be more like him? Be more like them. Maybe I should be more like him. You should be more like them. Am I running out of time? Why education is really changing, and traditional approaches to education suggest that the instructor has knowledge to share and the student's responsibility is to soak up that knowledge, become educated. It's easy to look things up now, but it's harder to really spend some time thinking about a nuanced approach to something. Education now, and what I'm interested in, is that critical thinking. Really helping students learn how to think deeply, how to investigate ideas, and then helping imagine where that investigation might take them. I believe in the community that we're creating here, in my department specifically, and in the college more broadly. We have an open access program and it's, it's an inclusive environment that welcomes all sorts of different students to dance and take part in our department's offerings. And philosophically, that's something I believe in.